हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल एविएशन जगत टुडे वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फ्लाइट इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट्स यूज इन ईच एंड एवरी एयरक्राफ्ट एंड दैट इज पिटॉट स्टैटिक सिस्टम हियर फ्रेंड्स वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज पिटॉट स्टैटिक सिस्टम हाउ पिटॉट स्टैटिक सिस्टम वर्क एंड लोकेशन ऑफ पिटॉट स्टैटिक सिस्टम इन एयरक्राफ्ट सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट वीडियो But before starting video, if you are new on my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and be a part of Aviation Jagat. Pitot static system gives indication from measuring air pressure, gathering and distributing various air pressure for flight instrumentation is the function of pitot static system, and it collects ram air and static pressure for use by the flight instruments. the altimeter air speed indicator and vertical speed indicator are the three most common pitot static instrument a pitot tube is open and faces into the air stream to receive the full force of the impact air pressure as the aircraft move forward this air passes through a baffle plate designed to protect the system from moisture and dirt entering the tube Below the baffle a drain hole is provided allowing moisture to escape the ram air is directed off to chamber in sharp fin assembly an upright tube or riser this pressurizes air out of the pitot assembly to the air speed indicator the aft section of pitot tube is equipped with a small hole that are designed to collect static air pressure from the atmosphere Many pitot static tube heads contain heating element to prevent icing during flight. The pilot can send electric current to the element with a switch in the cockpit when ice forming condition exist. Caution should be exercised when near the pitot tube as these heating element make the tube too hot to be touched without receiving a burn. The static section also contain a riser tube. and the air is run out the pitot assembly through tube and is connected to the altimeter air speed indicator and vertical speed indicator with the help of this pressure we can easily measure the altitude of the aircraft and what is its vertical speed and air speed of the aircraft we can measure now friends third and most important question is that where pitot static system are located The pitot static tube is mounted on the outside of the aircraft at a point where the air is least likely to be turbulent. It is pointed in a forward direction parallel to the aircraft line of flight. The location may vary. Some are on the nose of the fuselage and other may be located on wing. A few may even be found on the empennage. Most aircraft equipped with a pitot static tube have an alternate source of static air pressure provided for emergency use one of the most important thing i want to tell you that with the help of ram air and static air pressure difference we can measure the air speed indicator and with the help of only static air pressure we can measure the vertical speed indicator and with the help of static air pressure we can measure the altimeter so friends now i hope you are understood that with the help of ram air we can only measure the air speed indicator so here static pressure is most important thing a blockage of the pitot source is not as serious as it will only affect the air speed indicator pitot source means from where ram air is coming and it will only affect the air speed indicator but a blockage of a static source will however affect all of the instruments and it is thus common practice to provide an alternative static supply because with the help of static pressure we measure the altimeter and vertical speed indicator so it will affect the whole instrument that's why we use a alternative source so friends now i hope you all understood all about the pitot static system if you are new on my youtube channel then please subscribe and support thank you friends for watching video